are going to make pizza. Oh my god. Brady, Brady, calm down. Calm your body. Hey. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my stop. gosh. No, no. Hey. 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 Here. I'll pet your butt. Is that what you want? <laughs> Top, but it looks kind of good. It's still doughy in the middle. Puppies, daddy's home. Come on, stay. Hi, here come the kids. Come on. Here he is. Back up. Back back up. Go. Go. Gosh. Good boy. Good boy. I was trying to show y'all's playtime. <laughs> Don't bite. <sighs> I'm trying to put the bed up. Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah, it's taking me a little bit longer. This is how I make the bed. It's a lot of rolling. That thing. Uh, started keeping some food in the bathroom here. And uh, Burgundy gets fed at the... The big house. She gets fed with the other cats and she eats all of the wet food over there and then she From comes. All the piles too. Yes. It's like each cat gets their own pile and she just goes and. <laughs> <laughs> she makes that noise too. Yeah. But, um, and then she. And We're then filming! She comes over here and eats more food from the trailer and then gets lots of pets and cuddles. So she's living the life. Hey, we showed how you made the bed before the leg break. How do you do it now? <laughs> it's almost the same. <laughs> almost. <laughs> you can't really do the... Uh... No, I can't. It's, it's sad. It's just sad. It's a lot of this kind of stuff. Like, I have to move this over here. Do you want to eat? You do, huh? Spin. Spin. Lay down. Good boy. Cheek. Good boy. Best one. High five. Good boy! Good job! High five. <laughs> that's how you do it. Oh, that's a good one. You're such a good boy. Don't try to eat my hand. <laughs> boy, Don't follow me! <laughs> Hide in here. <laughs> Brady! What are you doing? Oh my gosh. I did good, yes? Come here, up, up, okay. Now sit. No, 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 shake. Up, 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 no. Sit, okay, stay. Oh my gosh. Shake, shake. He's gotta shake from a laying down position. Good boy, okay, get it. You can just get it. Hello. What do you wanna talk about today? So, animals inside of this confined space. We live in a box. It's literally a box. It's It has a shower in it. So that's the only really defining... A box you know, with a shower. Bed and a uh, fridge. Okay. Yeah. All of that inside of a box. It's decided, a rectangle. It's a rectangular box. So we threw <laughs> one animal in. No, we, I guess it was both. Yeah, we had both before. Mm -hmm. So this would be a great idea. <laughs> yeah. We, I mean, we, we love animals, you know? We have like a 45 pound Catahoula and a 70 plus pound Bernese Mountain he's Dog. He's 65. No, he I got think fat. I think he's around 70. He did get so, fat. Either way, and he, okay, you can control some weight, but man, this guy is squirmy, <laughs> hairy, and sheds. Everything's covered in fur all the time, but the great thing about this trailer is you literally open both the doors and blow air in one side <laughs> and it comes out the other, you know what it's I mean? Really so it's easy really to easy clean. to clean. It takes like five yeah. minutes with a little hand back. I just like, yeah. all the corners. The part I mind is, us trying to do our daily tasks. And they're kind of like an added 
you know, they're like a little bonus chore for us. <laughs> it's like they're, I mean, they're amazing to be around. I mean, this morning, uh, Brady was just playing with me and just, we just kind of hung out and, and that's, you know, that makes it. talked about life yeah, and had coffee together. Yeah. It was so that made it all, I made it all worth it. And then uh, Buzz <laughs> just looks cute all the time. I mean, it's all worth it, like by far, but you have to plan everything out. Funny, but at like 2 a.m. whenever I get up to go pee, I have to be aware that whenever I step down from the bed, there can be... Something a, squishy and furry. Yes, a squishy, furry object yeah. there that I can step on. It's really dark in here. It's nice. So I have to kind of like let my eyes adjust and then look because you can't just feel your way around because you'll trip. And then you'll fall and you'll hit a corner of something because everything is so close. It's not a clear fall. You have to be very careful about mm -hmm. maneuvering around in the RV at night. Or at all times. Yeah. <laughs> because at any time, there's going to be a dog within a foot of you. Like, anywhere you walk, the chances are there's going to be a dog within a foot of you. So you just have to be aware of your surroundings. With his leg... His broken leg. It's real fun. You just kind of grab onto a surface and hope for the best, really. So, yeah, I'm, I'm always constantly hopping over dogs, but at night, like, there's no chance for me to take a bathroom trip, really. So you just hold it. Yeah, so you just gotta hold it, I guess. So <laughs> or it's you back go to me. in a bottle. <laughs> yeah, or you can go in a bottle that they give you in the hospital. So that's always, that's called, it's back there. It's by my nook, you know. <laughs> I love our puppy so much. Yeah, and, <laughs> and they, they come in here and, like, you know, they're wild out there and they chase each other and hurt each other and stuff. And as soon as they come in here, they, they kind of, like, do their little... Like, I'm going to check everything out, and then they lay down. Mm -hmm. And they're really calm in here. I think they, they pick up from the vibe that we put out. You know, we were to be crazy all the time and, like, yelling at them and stuff. They'd be, I think they'd be a lot crazier. But mm -hmm. once we get in the RV, we're usually pretty calm and, and chill. If we get worked up, they get worked up. And then the cool thing about living here is that there's a lot of place for them to run and play. And so if they do get antsy, we just let them out in the pen. Uh, sometimes I'll take Brady for a run around the block. But lately, it's been so miserably hot and muggy here in Texas that I can't get a few feet from the house without feeling like I'm suffocating. And then Brady has really long, thick hair. Yeah. So I don't like to keep him out in the heat for too long. I don't know if this is even possible, but uh, renting RVs. I know I have, a, I have a couple of friends that are renting RVs right now to see which kind of RV they want to go with. I don't know if you can actually rent them with like the allowance of dogs being inside of them. You just do it. Yeah, right? Just just don't tell them, right? Yeah. yeah, just do it. That would tell you how your dog would react inside of a sort of confined space. And so if you're trying to do full-time RVing, like, it might be almost necessary. We just, I mean, our whole thing is we just jumped into everything. Bought a new truck, bought an RV, stuck our dogs in here. Yeah, you just make everything work. And so, so you could try that. I mean, <laughs> dogs can adjust. You can adjust. The fun thing about RVs is it's a whole adventure, you know. And so it's something, I mean, you'll find out more about yourself and things around you, so the cool thing about this lifestyle, right? It's really awesome. Yeah. I really do love it and I'm just so glad to be back in the RV here because with his, uh, whenever we went through everything with his injury, we were out of the RV for what, two, three weeks? Two and a half or three weeks? Something like that, yeah. Once we got in, back in here, I was just so relieved. It's just nice. And, and even having the dogs back in here just feels like a normal routine. You know, I wake up in the morning, I let them out in the pen, they run around for a couple hours. We come back in, we have breakfast, and then we go about our day, and it's nice. And we're still living this lifestyle, I mean, the same way that we would if we were traveling. We're hoping to start traveling here as soon as my leg is able to take weight. That's a whole other video that That's we can talk to thing. you guys about. Travel plans and how they've changed. Yeah. Because obviously we're working with something completely different, but that's part of life. It's just taking it one day at a time and something happens and you completely rearrange your life and you keep going. And we've done that. No, and no. you still have mental breakdowns, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm good, but that's my personality. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. you can, it's, there's ups and downs and it's all, it's all part of life, guys. It's all part of life. Yeah. Dogs and mental breakdowns. Not dogs cause mental breakdowns. They help with it. The dogs definitely help with the mental they help, breakdowns. They help really the stress sometimes, of course but they then they also help cause it too. Yeah. It's a win-win. Definitely feel like some of your stresses were caused by, by Brady, specifically Brady. Running away. Yeah. She's, She's a good dog. A deer. He's not so listening. Good. He just wants to have, he chases deer, but then a, a deer ended up chasing him one day. You oh know? my so, gosh, yeah, that's yeah. that's that was scary. It's like, oh crap. <laughs> he deserved it. Matt's leg is broken. We're gonna have a broken Brady. Yep. Deer attack. I'm telling you, they're all gonna have enough of him one day and just Everything changes in the day, you know. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Well, 
Hope you have fun out there. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>